Uh, good morning, Brandon Soltzmeyer with uh, Northwest Team 6 Operations, and we're going to do the morning briefing today. Uh, to start off with, it was a pretty busy night last night. Fire was very active through the night. Our night shift resources were also very busy. Uh, as probably everyone saw, the lightning and the storms rolling across the area last night. We did have a new start south of Highway 126. Our crews and engines responded to that and are still responding to that and, and working on that fire right now. Um, that is within our, our TFR. So they're taking, trying to get that taken care of, working with the local resources also. So going on with the fire, um, we did add a little bit more containment, as I said last night. So we got containment mostly almost all along what was the old Division Zulu up to the Alpha Zulu break. Um, Division Zulu and Al Zulu Victor are gonna be up here towards the uh, top in the break off of uh, 765 spur, off of 1501. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of mop up and cleaning that line, making sure it's good and hold, good uh, and going to hold well. And then they're going to start continuing around the horn and coming up and poking up a little bit into alpha. Alpha yesterday, they did not get to have a very good day for burning. So they mostly just prepped and made sure their lines are looking really good. Um, today, this afternoon, looking like we might have more advantageous weather. Uh, there's not a red flag today, but it is a critical weather day. So we do have lower RHs, higher temps, and a little bit breezy windy, windy afternoon. Um, so Alpha, hopefully they're going to get some firing done and start continue to making their way up to the Division Alpha Bravo break where they can hand it off to Bravo and start coming around the fire. Up in Bravo Delta, they're continuing to prep and monitor. Um, they're also shedding some resources to help with the other areas of the fire that are busier than normal. Um, so they're going to continue to prep and get their lines really good and have a really good firing plan in place. They're also and have been looking closer in and making plans and working on some little bit closer in roads, uh, specifically off of this 1508 road and 1506 road, kind of cutting, kind of com uh, cutting through some of the ridges and cutting line to make it a little bit closer in. Uh, going over to Foxtrot, Foxtrot was very busy yesterday. Uh, their fire behavior was a lot higher than it had been. Um, they are still working on containing the spot between 2655 and 2654, uh, but they're making good progress on that and they have a good plan in place for the day. Um, now moving down to Division November, as everyone probably saw yesterday and last night, Division November Tango was extremely busy. Um, it was very visible from the highway. So what we got going is that they're, the fire is starting to come down and I'm backing down the slope towards the highway. Division November, they're going to be looking at doing some tactical fire and trying to close this gap up and essentially staying ahead of this fire come, that's coming down. Most of this is a flanking fire and also backing, so it's not running at anything. And they're just trying to stay ahead of it into Division Tango. Tango right now, they're holding what they have. Um, a lot of their resources are helping down here where the new, uh, new IA is from last night's lightning. Uh, so they're going to be back on the line and going to be helping check they're going to hold in their stuff and start mopping up on some of their other places um, they will do some tactical firing if needed along their primary lines uh with last night we also had the structure protections groups out and we'll have structure protection groups out today one structure structure protection group is going to be double checking up here on the e on the e-web and our other group is going to be down here in the communities uh double checking on our pumps and our hose lays making sure everything is still in place and working properly. And that's going to wrap up the briefing for today. Thank you.